I want to talk about the difference between the mean and the proportion because these are the two um, the two different statistics we're going to be gathering during the semester. We might be interested in asking all of HUC students, faculty, and staff about whether or not they drink coffee and how much coffee they drink. Um, we might be interested in asking this for a whole bunch of reasons. Maybe Starbucks wants to open up another location and they're like, well, is there enough people to actually justify another location on campus? Um, Anywho, so if we're thinking about it in terms of a proportion, we are just asking it, usually just asking just a yes or no question. So like, do you drink coffee in the morning? So we went out and we asked a bunch of people and 23 of them said yes and 30 of them said no. That actually seems totally unrealistic. I feel like everyone drinks coffee, but that's fine. These numbers are just made up. Um, so let's, we need to figure out what our total is. We'll go ahead and sum, uh, oh wow, we'll go ahead and sum those two things. And so we asked 53 people total. Um, we might be interested in knowing the proportion of these that actually do drink coffee. So to calculate that, we'll call it um, p hat is hard to make on Google Sheets, so we'll just call it p hat here. The little p hat symbol is hard to make. Um, and I'll go ahead and say, well, this is going to be equal to this divided by the total. So we estimate that about 43% based on our sample, right? 43% of the population of HTC students, faculty, and staff do drink coffee in the morning. Um, the reason we want to do this is we actually, we would like to know what the real proportion is, what P actually is, not P hat, but what P is. Uh, but we, it's hard to know that because we can't ask every single student and faculty and staff member because that would just take a lot of time. And so instead we just asked 53 people. Um, that we've randomly selected. Uh, we're trying to get at this, and that's what confidence intervals are all about, and we'll get more into that later. In fact, your first project is on that. Um, so a proportion is anytime you're asking a yes or no question, and you're just taking, like, the yeses in this case and dividing by the total to get some percentage. That is our proportion. In this case, p hat is our sample statistic. Um, all right, let's talk about means here. Here we're going to ask a slightly different question. We want to know how many cups of coffee do you drink daily? And we are interested in the average number of cups. Um, I wonder if I can get X bar in here. Let me pause this. I did it. I made a little X bar. I had to draw it. If you're interested, I just clicked insert drawing. Anyway, whatever. So we are interested in the average number of cups of coffee that people, that students, faculty, and staff are drinking at HCC. Once again, it is hard to ask everybody how many cups of coffee. Um, they've been drinking. So we only, I took a sample and I just asked, let's see, I asked 30 people, right? And they told me how many cups of coffee that they're drinking. And this is weird because is it, is it a small cup of coffee? Is it like an extra large cup of coffee? Because two like really big cups of coffee are different than like two really small cups of coffee, right? But let's pretend we said like eight ounce drinks to be more precise, right? So how many eight ounce cups of coffee do you have? So if you have a medium, maybe that's two eight ounce coffees. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the average number of cups of coffee. So I'm just going to type average here. And I'm going to average all of these things. So I'll drag this down. Once again, this data is totally made up. And uh, boop. And it turns out the average from my sample is 1.8 cups of coffee. So about two cups of coffee. I would like to know what the average number of cups of coffee are for every single person. Like, for HCC students, faculty, and staff, right? But once again, that's a hard thing to know. Um, so I cannot find it, and that thing is called mu. Let me go ahead and see if I can type a mu. I did it, I found the mu, that's very exciting. Anyway, we'd like to know what the, the true average is for every single person in the population, but that's a hard thing to figure out. Um, and we would make a confidence interval around our sample average to try to guess at the range for mu. Um, anyway, so the difference between a mean and a proportion, proportions we are, p hat is going to give us a percentage, right? And the average uh, number of things is going to be, well, that's going to be our mean. So if we're looking at the homework, let's take a second and look at that. Let's go ahead and go over here. We're going to identify the parameter for each of the following situations. State whether the parameter of interest is the mean or a proportion. It may be helpful to examine whether individual responses are numerical or categorical. So let's look at that in our thing, right? These are all numerical and these are categorical, right? Because they're either a yes or they're a no. Even though we're counting them, they're still categorical. Uh, so let's go back over here. Let's pick one of these, uh, maybe just the first one. In a survey, 100 college students are asked how many hours per week they spend on the internet. Well, that sounds like a mean situation, right? Because they're asked how many hours. So that's, that's a numerical response. So that would be mean. Uh, maybe we'll jump down to C. 
In a survey, 100 college students are asked whether or not they cited information from Wikipedia in their papers. Well, that's categorical, right? Because we're just asking, did you cite information from Wikipedia? Yes or no. And if it's yes, then it's proportion. Or if it's no, it's proportion to it. We're finding some percentage of students that do this do this thing. Um, I think that I think that'll be it. I think there's one on here that's really tricky. Let's see. Under this one, in a survey, 100 college students are asked what percentage of their total weekly spending is on alcoholic beverages. So this one, you're thinking percentage, but we're asking them for the number percentage, right? So we are going to take that percentage and we're probably going to find an average with it. So that sounds like mean. Um, because we're not saying what percentage are they are they weekly spending and then getting a yes or no answer. Um, all right, if you have more questions about this topic, uh, let me know. I'll go ahead and post this to the main page. Thanks.